since Ego Q Robon Taikyok got a release as a cartridge a few months after this Disk System version, I've told the following story before, but it's the most important thing about the game. Because this is one of those dominoes that changed the course of history. In the early 80s, Bulletproof Software was a small software company in Japan. It was founded by Henk Rogers, who was Dutch, and they were looking to get their foot in the door with video game consoles. One of Nintendo president Hiroshi Yamauchi's hobbies was playing Go, also destroying people's lives. But for this story, playing Go is what matters. In a meeting with Yamauchi, Rogers took out their prototype of Ego Q Roban Taikyok, and Yamauchi was impressed when he played it. This was the only time that Yamauchi ever played a video game. Rogers got his license to publish games on Nintendo systems, and that became vital about a year later when Rogers thought he had acquired the rights to publish the very popular computer game Tetris. And the rest of the story is so well known that they made a television series about it. Hank Rogers might not have been in a position to go and get those Tetris rights if it wasn't for Ego Q Robon Taikyuk. Go is one of the definitive classic board games. Players have stone of a certain color, black or white, and take turns putting down a stone of their color at the intersection of lines on a board. Your goal is to control the most territory by surrounding it, and if you completely enclose your opponent's stones, then you take them off the board, and they count against your opponent's score at the end of the game. Play goes back and forth like this until both players pass, which usually happens because there's no way for them to gain any more points. Go is traditionally played on a 19 by 19 grid, and that is something that has caused a lot of problems for people developing AI that can play Go. The number of possible moves at any given moment is absurd, and you can't even eliminate bad moves that easily. One of the most important things in Go is knowing when a battle is lost, and so you stop playing stones there and look for another spot on the board where you could get an advantage. And that means on any given turn, there could be well over a hundred perfectly valid moves to evaluate. And the way AI traditionally works is that it evaluates any possible response from an opponent, and then looks for ways that it could respond, and with every step this multiplies the possibilities, which means you don't have to think very far ahead for the possible options to become astronomical. Compare this to chess, where on any given turn there might be a few dozen valid moves, which can be quickly narrowed down, and, well, that's why there have been decent chess AIs since the 1970s, and you still can't get a really good Go AI that plays on your own computer. The solution in Ego Q Roban Taikyok is one that's used for people learning to play Go. Narrow down the options by reducing the playfield to 9x9. And this works reasonably well. I'm not going to claim this is a genius AI, I enjoy playing Go, but I'm kind of bad at it, and I can beat this AI from time to time in even matches. But the computer doesn't make any obvious stupid mistakes that I can spot. It doesn't stay hyper-focused on one area of the board. It doesn't default to reinforcing areas where it's already won. This is a reasonably competent Go AI, especially for the mid-80s, and especially for an 8-bit processor. An interesting thing about how the game is set up is that rather than having different difficulty levels for the AI, Ego Q Robon Taikyok uses the traditional handicapping method for Go. One of the players gets stones placed on the board as an advantage. It's a system that works pretty well. There aren't really a whole lot of other features on this disc. There's a tutorial that will walk you through how to play Go, and you can save and watch records of your matches. But that's it. Of course, why would you need anything else, since you're just here to play Go? Unsurprisingly, this is not a game that gets a lot of attention in Japan. But there are people who recognize it as the impressive technical feat that it is. I can tell you that Ego Q Roban Taikyok is the best way to play Go on your Famicom. Admittedly, that's a low bar. The competition consists of two truly awful AIs, and a bunch of tutorials that let you watch matches being played. But this is still a pretty good effort. I'm not going to say it's something that people need to go back to. These days you do have options if you want to play Go against the computer, or at least options if you're not an expert at Go. Still, I can't deny the quality and the effort here. 
This is a historic piece of software for more reasons than one.